All right, checking in with Netta. All eyes on the forecast here. Today is the day where we start that uphill climb, and uh, it's going to be a tall mountain. Mm -hmm. um, a tall mountain. It's going to take a while to get through it. So, yeah, <laughs> good analogy there, Eric, because we're going to be sweating as we head up this mountain. Right now, we're starting off in the mid to upper 60s. Here's a nice time to open the window, allow some of that cooler air to come into your house. Downtown San Diego, though, you're already at 70 degrees, 69 in Chula Vista. We're inching towards the coolest time of the day. You might still see a degree drop here before the sun officially comes up, but overall, we are cooler than yesterday, mainly because it's fairly clear out there, which also concerns me because that means the sun will be out quicker. Uh, you'll feel the heat, I should say, of the sun quicker. That excessive heat warning starts at 10 o'clock this morning all the way until Monday night. I mean, it is a prolonged heat wave that we've been warning you about. And for today, it's beginning. So low 80s along the coast. This is certainly above average by 5 to 10 degrees. 81 downtown, 82 National City. Look at Santee and El Cajon, low 90s. Now, these areas, right? Right here by the end of the week we'll see temperatures in the triple digits by this coming weekend add humidity to that it's going to feel even hotter 86 in San Marcos 91 in Escondido today 89 Poway 88 in RB and you see along the coast it's still pretty warm upper 70s low 80s but obviously that's where you'll get a little bit more of that relief Julian you'll be at 93 today that's going to be a hot one for you 114 in Borrego and Ocotillo and here's the reason this is the culprit don't blame the messenger you can blame this of high pressure. So as you'll see, it's basically staying right there, right next to us. The center of it is, and then you'll notice it kind of bobble around just a little bit. So for Thursday, it actually is going to sweep in a little bit of monsoonal moisture, which is also going to add more discomfort. So the humidity will pick up Thursday and that will likely stick around through the weekend and look how widespread it gets on Saturday. So you see even more of this orange, more of this red for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday into Monday, Labor Day will be a hot one too. So I know a lot of people may be coming to town to visit, not expecting weather like this, but look how hot it's going to get for your coastal five day. Look, we bump up into the upper 80s for Wednesday, Thursday, a little tiny drop Friday, and then we're right back up to 90 degrees on Saturday inland. This also paints a good picture to kind of warn you low 90s today, upper 90s Wednesday, Thursday, mid 90s Friday, triple digits on Saturday. And yeah, we'll stay in the triple digits through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday for inland valleys. These are our populated neighborhoods where a lot of you live. Uh, so I hope you have air conditioning. If you don't, obviously you'll need those fans work strategically with the sunrise and sunset in the mountains. Low 90s. Look at the deserts. You can see here why excessive heat warnings go from the coast all the way to the deserts. Eric.